Well, hello, church. How are you enjoying the first day of at-home stay and of the stay home, stay safe uh, executive order? Uh, I would like to encourage you a little bit today, if I could, uh, just to consider this time maybe not so much a uh, problem as a gift. Uh, if you look in Jeremiah 29, 11, there's a, a verse that you've probably heard quoted frequently. I'm going to go ahead and read it. Uh, it says, for I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare, not for calamity, to give you a future and a hope. And those are wonderful words. They tell us that God's heart towards us incli is inclined for our good. But I'd like you to remember that they were spoken in the midst of Babylonian captivity, that uh, Judah had been taken prisoner, if you will, to Babylon against her will and was held there for 70 years. And it was in the middle of that dark place when Jerusalem had been destroyed and the temple had been destroyed, that God spoke those words of encouragement. And they were followed by um, some instruction that I hope that we will take to heart today. He says, then you will call upon me and come and pray to me and I will listen to you. You will seek me and find me when you search for me with all your heart. I will be found by you, declares the Lord. Maybe this week and in the weeks to come, you may find that you have a little more time in your schedule than you had really wanted to have. But I also want you to see a silver lining in that cloud, that there is an opportunity here that I pray that you would take advantage of. Maybe you've been very busy in church ministry and, and now we can't work as a church, we can't meet. Uh, but this is an opportunity for you too, uh, for all of us to spend time in God's word, to spend time with him in prayer, to refresh and reinvigorate our love for God, that all of our ministry should be to God and for his glory. And to do that, we need to know him and we need to love him for who he is. And we have in this week and these weeks to come some time. And with that time is a gift, an opportunity to spend more time with God. You also may have time to spend with your family. Uh, maybe you're getting reacquainted. Uh, now's a great time to read a chapter together before you eat. Uh, just take a minute and pray to have some conversation over dinner about the word. Maybe these are things that you've always wanted to do and it's just hard to get everybody together in one place at one time. But maybe now you have that opportunity. I pray that you would take it. It's also an opportunity to get to know your neighbors. Uh, usually everybody's busy going here and there and they just never connect, never have time. Well, maybe now there's a time, an opportunity to get to know your neighbors, see how they're doing. Ask them what they think about all this. Maybe ask if you can pray for them. And you have an opportunity, in fact, a, a real need to connect with other members in the church, just person to person, direct, call them, text them, uh, FaceTime them, Google Hangouts or Zoom. You can see each other still, but most importantly, let and remind each other know uh, that you care. You appreciate them. You miss them. Let's together look forward to the time we can get back together with joy and celebration and a renewal of our heart of worship to love our God. Let's use this time. Let's redeem this time to seek God and to know him and to be reinvigorated in our love for him and reignited in our passion to serve him. Amen. Look forward to talking to you again, church. Please keep watching your email for additional updates on ways and times and places. We're going to try and get together online and do things in a virtual way and continue the ministry and work of the church. We'll talk to you later.